Hello! Sup people, how are you doing? I am going to do another video just for you. Hello, welcome to a video on North Korea. Why North Korea? Um, I've done a video in a while and I thought I'd challenge myself to something that not a lot of people know. So here we go, North Korea. So as I said, don't know a lot about it, so let's start with simple things. First off, positioned just above South Korea and, and they speak Korean. Okay, it's a good start. Positioned above South Korea, speak Korean. Good so far. The reason why North and South Korea is there is because 50, 60 years ago, when the, when the UN was about, the North said, hey, we're not going to go in the UN. And the South was like, yeah, we'll go in the UN. They had a battle called the Korean War, 1950. And not really a winner, I don't think. North Korea didn't go in the UN, and South Korea did. Put ahead of... Kim Jong-il, he was the last president of North Korea, so he died in 2011. He was in power for 17 years. He didn't actually win any elections to be in power for 17 years. He just kind of went, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like take control of a country. Kind of how they do it in Korea, as uh, North Korea. It was so secret that no one actually knows where he was born. It said in his biography that he was born on a secret military camp. Hang on. It's officially claimed that he was foretold by a swallow, and on that day, that on that day, there's a double rainbow. Yeah. Oh, and of course, a new star was magically born on that day too. Kim Jong Il didn't really have that many policies for North Korea. I think the main one was probably big army. North Korea has the fourth biggest army in, in the world after um, China, US and India. Quite a big army they've got, I'm going to be honest. Fun fact for you, Kim Jong-il's first wife was a film star. At the time, she was actually already married. Kim Jong-il actually forced a divorce between them. I know, right? As I said, Kim Jong-il actually died in 2011, December of 2011, and here's the North Korean reaction. <laughs> Gonna be honest, a little bit fake. There's a lot of rumours going around that if you wasn't crying and looking upset, that you were shot. So that's probably why they was so uh, upset. You know, in North Korea, the media is really censored. Do with the Egyptian revolution where they all had rights and everything? Under one percent of the North Korean population actually knew about it. You know, it was all over the news. Next, we have the current president of North Korea, Kim, uh, hang on, Kim Jong-un. Again, very little is known about Kim Jong-un, apart from that he's fat. Okay, well, I'll give you that one. It was, it was born between 1983 and 1984. Again, no one really knows. And that's it. That's all I really know about him. I've Googled a lot, and that's all I've got. Sorry. A few facts about North Korea. No one actually knows the actual population for North Korea, but the UN estimated at 24 million, and 5% of their population are in the army. That's like not 1.1 million are in the army. It's officially the most corrupted country in the world, in that good news. And best bit, the best fact I've got for you is the only sport event North Korea was in was in 2010. There was in uh, there was in the World Cup of 2010. They conceded 12 goals, but scored one against Brazil. Well, that's pretty lucky, it really. They must have accidentally given it, you know, accidentally. I bet there was like, oh, we better let them score, because if they don't, they might shoot us. North Korea didn't actually get past the group stages in World Cup. If you was wondering. A little sad note, talking about Korea, not North, but South Korea. South Korea has the best internet in the whole world. Uh, it has, it's... The speed is 100 megabits per second, which if you don't know, that's, that's pretty fast. For a bit of a comparison, Hull's internet is 8 megabits per second, and that means South Korea has 12 and a half times better internet than us. And I did also find out that in South Korea, they pay on average about £12 a month for their internet. In Hull, we pay £22 a month. So um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.